All right, we're going to start with uh, the Charmer today. So we're going to be doing Chip Terzi. I'm going to try to do at least uh, two videos a day of these classes. This is only like uh, 12, four, eight. there's like 20 of them, 20 characters. So there is lag on this game, of course, but it, it was a, it got a little bit better after the first episode. Uh, let me price, nope. I don't have gold for shit, so, but I'm out here in this area doing a quest. I took in a few quests here, uh, the procurator's quest, um, basically, quest progress. Um, so, sent you to help me, you must be the lost soul of the house of the blood, then. So, we gotta go find where this is exactly at, and you can now use the map to find shit, so, that's pretty cool. Um, unfortunately, we cannot teleport. Uh, I was supposed to be doing jobs at the tavern, but it's really just a fetch quest type thing. They really just want me to uh, pick shit up, and I don't feel like picking shit up. What the fuck, I guess. Thank you very much. Oh, look at that guy. That guy's way up there. Alright, we're gonna use some magic on this guy. I think we should take a look at our actual skills. Let's go kill this thing first. We'll only use our first ability. Bam! Bam! One more time. Bam! Get out of here. I want your spoils. Oh, you got a lot of shit. I'm gonna sell, like, everything. Let's go to skills here. So, our first skill is called Dark Prism. It's an active ability. It has 5 yards of range. Energy expense, 13 units. That's a lot. Um, cooldown is 7 seconds, um, yeah, so you can also add like tabs and such like that to increase the strength of your ability. Um, it's a magical attack that does increase damage to an opponent as the skill develops, so it's basically just a skill shot, um, as we already seen. Um, so, second ability is called Warrior Healing, it is an active as well, also 5 yards, 12 units, so 1 unit less than the first ability. Um, the cooldown for this one is a lot higher though, because it is a healing spell, they usually try to keep those at a minimum. Um, instantly restores a certain amount of health of a character or an ally and amplifies their positive effect healing that periodically restores health for 12 seconds. So it increases any heals you get from other party members and it also it gives you regen um, and heals you. So it's, it's a pretty powerful healing skill if you really think about it. Um, but the chance of you actually ever having somebody else ever healing you is pretty low. So yeah. Weakness. Active. Also another active ability. 5 yards, 14 units. This one's a little bit further. Um, 20 seconds with cooldown reduces physical and magical defense for the enemy for 10 seconds uh, for 10% for 10 seconds my bad um, so it's just a weakening skill here some uh, debuff uh, we got another active 4 yards 20 units 30 seconds summons the monster to a specific specified area for 15 seconds the monster does physical damage to enemies that is pretty fucking cool there that one is summoning a mo monster what is it called it's called it's call this is called weakness so minor heal warrior healing or something like that Oppression, magical attack that does damage to the enemy and applies to him the negative effect stun for 1.5 seconds. The opponent cannot move or or apply skills. Damaging the target do not uh, obviate his target. Okay. So here's my passive. Devotion increases character's energy regeneration by 3%. Another passive. Staffs. Uh, grants for shields. And grants use for heavy armor. Increased magic resistance. Increased 50% where you have the shield put on. And we got one hand mace, we can use those as well, and we have cloth armor, so that's all of our skills. We don't have any expert skills, no relics, nothing like that, so. Yeah, let's, uh, let's put some of these skills into action. Uh, let's go with Dark Prism, show this off. So we're just in Dark Prism. Warrior Healing is just kind of this quick warrior heal. Um, we apply Weakness, Weakness kind of just destroys his defense, so now we do more damage here. Um, bam, we're also getting regen along with uh, the heal that we had put on earlier, so that's pretty strong of an ability, I, I do like it. Um, let's go ahead and try to fight something that's a little bit stronger, Crawling Bones. Let's go ahead and summon out our little demon here, let's let him do some damage here. Let's use our ultimate ability here, some lightning, apply stun. Um, we will take you some damage here, let's go ahead and apply weakness, let me get a better angle of this over here somewhere, instead of being lashed up in this corner. Um, let's use Dark Prism. Our skills are on cooldown. It's running away from us. Okay, fuck it. We didn't get to kill it. Guess we never will then. But yes, guys, that is the Shaman class. Um, state. He has a lot of health. Physicals, magicals. Uh, they're alright. Um, what else was it trying to look? Okay. 
that's about it, honestly. We did get an item, though. I did, I did remember that. Let's go... What? Whatever. Anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the shaman class. And, uh, yeah, so... When we come back, we'll probably be trying uh, something... Um, I don't know what type of priest class or in any other class. We'll probably do... We already did the priest class, so we'll probably do something like... Uh, I don't know. But I'll see you guys in a bit.